like using Google Translate to chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is so yeah. lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we are going wine tasting in one of the oldest wine production regions in the world. Georgia, the country, has been producing wine for over 8,000 years. There are over 500 varietals of wine here. We have two wineries that we're gonna to visit today, both very different. The first one is a mass production winery, a family run vineyard where no one speaks English. This is like our favorite kind of experience. This is so cool. Processing is a challenge and then wine is transferred through hoses into jugs. Okay, okay. One of the translations was pretty good but I got it on my phone, so I'll put the clip right now. I don't know if that's right, but I'm gonna read it anyway. The garbage collector of the suspension, the mushrooms were raised by the dancer right until the 1st of January. <laughs> we, we're here in Georgia, so we're drinking Georgian wine. Good morning and welcome to the most beautiful day I think we have ever seen. And today we are doing something that is being checked off of our bucket list. We are hopping in the car and driving two hours to the oldest wine region in the world. Yes, the oldest wine region in the world. And that is a fact. They have been making wine here in Georgia longer than anywhere else in the world. But we have quite the drive ahead of us. Sam's getting snacks. Let's go hop in the car. Two and a half hours later, whew, we do not have a reservation, so we're just gonna go chance it. So we made it to the Cavarelli Wine Cave. The first stop is a big commercial winery, which just means they have a high production of wine. Thank you. We got this figured out. It's a wine cave that we're at, and there's a winery within the wine cave called Kareba. walking in and doing this so we walked in and did it and we got in trouble <laughs> so many people that have just showed up like like so many people are we're here now it's 12 degrees in there and he said take a blanket i hope it's clean let's go what a very funny experience. Like, he's just kind of like walking and there's a mass group of us talking really quickly. Um, I already forgot everything he said. <laughs> so the Georgian tradition of fermenting wine is in an amphora. During the winemaking process, not to get too nerdy, after they press the grapes, they get all the juice and the skins and everything, put it in that big pot and let it ferment and turn into alcohol in there. And then after it's fermented, after about six weeks, then they separate all that. But that is the most ancient way of producing wine. You may know Georgian wines for one main reason. That's because they've been producing amber wines for as long as they've been producing wines in general. And an amber wine, you might know it as orange wine, which is like the new trend in wine right now. And is the grape sort Tsitska, Emiratian sort of grape. We call such wines amber wines because of this color. Cheers! Ooh, that is way dangerous. I mean, I could drink a lot of that on a hot summer day. So it's like buttery. Okay, so the second one, he described this red wine as an immortal wine. This is like the real traditional Georgian wines from 8,000 years ago. So let's give it a go, shall we? 
That is a great, just classic wine. Tastes like wine. I mean, how can you go wrong with a glass of wine? So since I'm driving, I'm doing very little tasting. Sam's doing more of the tasting. And I can't drink the wine, so I'm loading up for both of us. <laughs> That was truly a bizarre experience. <laughs> I really don't remember anything that that tour guide told us. <laughs> but it's currently 2 p.m. and our next tasting is at 2 p.m. It's a 30 minute drive, so I think it's safe to say we might be late. But the reason I chose this next place is because it's more of like an artisan, like it looks almost like a family home kind of place. On to the next. It's really like a family house that we're at right now. <laughs> no, Angela, that's okay. It's okay. No, Jordan. My name is Shota. 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 My father cannot speak English, and if you can have a translator, uh, English or Georgian translator. Okay, that's no problem. That's no problem. Wow. We just got here, and. They don't speak any English, which is amazing. But look how cool this is. Oh, wow. Nick, Nick. Nick, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. No, 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 it's our family cellar. We make wine according to our traditions in Kiberi. Wow, so cool. The query two ton. Two ton. Two ton. Wow. Nick? Nick. Uh, Nick. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, three types of dry wine. Okay. okay. Wow. Nitri tra dry wine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two uh, two types of sweet wine. Okay. Two sweet of wine. Uh, three fortified wine. Three fortified wine. Uh, on three uh, spirit cha cha. Oh cha cha. Yes. Cha -cha. Yes. This is an experience, but also probably the most authentic experience I think you can get. This is awesome. We like are literally in their house. It's like a movie set. They're like making us food yeah. and they're like using Translate to like tell us everything. Thank you Google Translate, by the way. Now it's time to taste some wine, right babe? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're at a grandparent's house, but the winery we are at is called Ibero. Thank you. So she called it a classic Georgian wine. Cheers. So the next one we're having is the varietal called Kikwi, which he said is one of the oldest of the 520 varietals that are here in Georgia. This doesn't get old. This is like one of the greatest things. <laughs> cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers Nick. Cheers. Samantha, cheers. 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 <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So his wife made this whole spread for us, and he's sitting with us eating and just <laughs> Drinking wine with that. This is this bread. She make? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. She make? There yeah, yeah, good. Oh, it is so good. Wow. Wow. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Wine. And wine. <laughs> 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 
keeps telling me I have to finish my wine, but I'm drinking for two. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave here feeling real good. This one we're drinking is called Kisi, and we've seen it at a couple of restaurants. So I asked him if it was the most common like white wine grape varietal since there are so many. And he said it's it's unique to this area, but it's not in most of the wine region. So it's just unique to this area. So I guess we came to the right place because this so far is my favorite grape that we've had. Cheers. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna say it in Georgian. Kvelaperi Mishvenyaria. Kvelaperi Mishvenyaria. That was not that far off. Chicken, chicken. <laughs> chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> So this one's a little bit lighter in color. <laughs> Go on, Cheers, Cheers. and dream. We're glad to see you again in our house. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. That's so nice. Go on, Go on, so he was just explaining to us that the cha-cha is the bottom of the barrel, which they basically just take the bottom barrel of the wine and then they distill it like a liqueur. And it's about 50% alcohol, so Sam will be drinking most of it. You put the ham on top of the bread with the tarragon. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. The ham is super. Mm. All right, here we go. This is like ceremonial music for my first cha-cha right now. I feel like I'm being brought into the family. All right, let's go. <laughs> so well. I wish we could stay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We appreciate it. you my sunglasses. Bye, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> she's, my, she's my Georgian mom. <laughs> we see you soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> that was the best ever. Okay, but we're gonna we're gonna probably leave because I probably need to call it quits. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Two and a half hours of my life, I think. I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out. And that's okay, because it was such a great day. Like, we literally didn't know what was happening for half of it, actually all of it. <laughs> Not sure if you got anything out of what Sam just said, because I think she's been drinking a little bit. But thanks for sticking around with us today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We hope you had as much fun with us today as we did. But until next time, we'll see you on the go. Maybe they have a lot of money. I have no idea, but it smells like a winery. It smells like, I don't know how to explain it, like fermentation. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Take six, go. Today we are going wine tasting in the oldest wine production region in the world. I dropped like 17 mm -hmm. things when I was putting it on my plate. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. Like everything she touched, <laughs> it just happened to fall on the floor. So you first put the ham on top of the bread with, what's this? Oregano? Tarragon. What she, who must to drink? We drink to... To drink. Happy. 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 <laughs> and we left with like the fullest hearts. This was like one of the best days, truly. Georgia is Georgia is a very special country and if you have time to come out here definitely come